I'm going to show you a cool way where you can use slicers and then have interactive employee photos show up. So here's our slicer. If we choose Homer Simpson, comes up, Ian Wright, myself here, and Michael Jackson. Now there's a few steps that we need to go through. And once you go through those steps, it's pretty easy to understand. Now what I've used here is the camera tool to take a photo. And I've linked that photo by putting a name range called Show Employee Picture. Now that name range has an offset function in it. Now the offset function is here. It says start here. Now I've named that range and I've also named the, ra the range number of cells down. So for an offset function, we have the first part, which is where do we start? So it has a starting point and I've called a start here. So I've called it here on the left cell A15 start here. The second part of the offset function is how many rows down do we go? And I've named this number of cells down. Now I have named cell A9 number of cells down. So as I change this, then it goes down accordingly. So one row down, three rows down, four rows down, two rows down. So by linking this picture with the offset function, we can go grab these pictures that we have here and it brings them back into this photograph that was snapped by the camera tool. So let's go to the how to and I'll explain how it's done. First of all, we need to create our table. So let's get our table here with our number and employee names. So we can control copy and control paste in there. So we have our table here and double click there. So the first thing we need to do is insert a pivot table. So let's grab our data and go to insert and pivot table and we'll put it into our existing worksheet. Now let's put it all the way down here because once we insert a pivot table, we get all this area here and it's going to overlap. So we've got a bit of space here. Now what we need to do now is to drop in the number field into the row labels. And that's all we need to do. We're not going to put here anything else. So we've created our pivot table. Just one thing, right click in here and remove the grand total. Okay, so we have the pivot table here and we're going to press Control X to move it here and press Control V. Okay, so we have our pivot table here. Now one thing we need to do now is name the range. So when we make a selection, for example, number two or number three, so this cell here, D10, we have to name it because we're gonna use that for the number of rows to go down in our offset formula. So to name the range, we're gonna name a number of cells down. All we need to do is go in our name box in there and name it number of cells down. And we'll put an underscore as well because in our previous example, in the interactive employees, we used this name range. So just to distinguish that, we'll put another underscore and press enter. So now we have that named. Next, we have to insert a slicer. To do that, we click in our pivot table and go to options, insert slicer, and now we choose the employees. So we have the employees names there. Now, if we select all, we have all of them there. So let's put our employee names up there. Just for now, we'll pack it up there. So the next step is to define our name for our starting position, because the first argument in the offset function is our starting position. So we're going to start over here and we're going to call this start here as a defined name. So in there, we're going to call it start here. Now we use that name in our previous example. So we just put the underscore again just to distinguish it. So we call it start here. 
the next step is to make these four rows here high enough so we can include our pictures. So I've made them about 100 and you can adjust it to whatever you like. And also you can make them as, as wide as you like as well. Step number six is to insert the pictures. Now you can insert pictures by going into insert and picture and you have them all there. Now let's cancel out of there. What I can do is just go back and grab these pictures. So control copy and control V. So make sure that it sits in there. So we've inserted our pictures. Step number seven, we need to define the name for the formula that will drive the pictures. So now we're going to put in there the offset function. To do that, we'll go to our name manager and press new. We're going to call it function that will get our pictures. Now you got to make sure that there are no spaces in there for that to work. And this refers to, well, we're going to put in there our offset function. So we're going to say offset, where is our starting point? And we've named our starting point start here. So we'll put in there start here with the underscore, then comma, how many rows down? We've named that in there, number of sales down. So number of sales down and underscore. And the next argument is how many columns do we go right or left? And we'll put in zero and then a comma and then close brackets and press OK. So we've defined our range there. Step number eight is to take a camera shot of a blank space large enough to, to fit our picture. So we can take a, a shot over here, but I'll show you an example. All you can do is just take a, a shot of a picture like this, of space like this, with your camera tool. Now, if you don't have the camera activated, you can activate it by going into File, Options, and Quick Access Toolbar. Now, from the drop-down box, we choose All Commands, Click in there and press C to go down to the camera tool. And then you can just press add in there. Now I've already added it. Press OK and it gets added in here. So we've selected a range here and let's take a, a photo. So we've taken the photo and now we need to put it somewhere. Where do we want to put it? We can put it in there. Just click anywhere. So we have our, our background. Now finally, we need to reference this blank photograph to our offset name range. So we've defined our offset function with a name called, so if you put that fun, it will give you the name tag there and then press tab and press enter. So now what it does is the offset function starts here. It goes down, number of cells down, one. So it goes down here and it returns back whatever's in there into our camera shot. Now, if we choose in right, it goes down three rows from our starting position. So it goes one, two, three. So in here, it's looking in there and it's taking whatever's in there and returning it back in there. So that's how it works. Now, finally, we need to format the photo here and just put in a background like this. And now you can use your slicer to bring up all the different pictures and you'll be as happy as Homer. G'day, it's John Michalus here, the Chief Inspirational Officer and Founder at MyExcelOnline.com and I hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. It just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And finally, we want you to join our flagship online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get 
all of our Excel courses, you get our Excel beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos, which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice. And you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q and A's. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.